Markets have been pulling back the last three trading sessions following Jay Powell's press conference and the FOMC announcement last Wednesday. However, overall, the market has been trending higher ever since the middle of October, with the largest gamma exposure at the 7,000 strike, and that has been a magnet over the last several weeks. On Friday, the S&P 500 was up 0.26%, closing at 68.40.20. We see most of the options volume was between the 6,800 strike and the 6,900 strike during Friday's trading session with an outlier volume spike at the 7,000 strike. We've been seeing that for a number of weeks now, adding to the gamma exposure that we're seeing at that level. And let's just take a quick look at our time machine feature to see how the action on Friday unfolded. We actually gapped higher at the start of Friday's trading session, and that gave us somewhat of a bullish bias. We saw some positive gamma exposure up to the 6900 strike, but one thing that tilted the probabilities towards a more neutral consolidation type of day was the zero DTE gamma exposure. You can see around 10.35 a.m., Zero DTE gamma exposure was mostly concentrated at this 6850 level, basically suggesting that the probabilities were for more consolidation during Friday's trading session rather than a rebound back up to that 6900 strike. And so based on the data at the time, we actually took a zero DTE iron condor play concentrated around that 6850 level by selling the 6880, 6885 call debit spread and the 6825, 6820 put debit spread making an iron condor. So we want price to trade within this overall range throughout the course of the day. And you can see how we're sandwiched right around that 6850 level. And so we put this trade on right around 1035 AM Eastern and fast forwarding through the rest of the trading session, you can see exactly how price and gamma exposure basically oscillating around that 6850 level. So ultimately, you know, we closed at 6840 and you can see how our lower wing was threatened, but the gamma exposure at the 6850 level kept us in check holding that position for a bounce which ultimately came and we were able to actually lock in some profit so this is our trade we entered right at 10 36 a.m selling those iron condors for two dollars and ten cents and you can see from our post here we were basically looking for price to stay right in that zone that we just went through and this is a good example of how effective this data can be ultimately we closed that for one thousand two hundred and fifty dollar profit closing those iron condors at 85 cents not wanting to hold that to a pin necessarily to the end of the day, but basically just collecting more than 50% of the premium that was available from those iron condors, especially as price was trading right into that 6850 magnet. Switching back to the current gamma exposure picture, you know, we like to show these examples because it shows that even though we have these large GEX levels on the total time frame, drilling down to the zero DTE time frame can actually give you some more granular trade setups even while you're managing positions that are overall trending towards the large total gamma exposure concentrations. So you can drill down and look at the data on a zero DTE basis and get a sense whether the probability supports a consolidation day or a range breakout day. In general, heading into next week, there are a few reasons for some concern. We could see a further pullback uh, we are seeing negative gamma exposure. You can see all the red bars here at these strikes. Negative gamma exposure has picked up over the last couple of days. So the potential for a further drop to 6,800 or maybe even the previous breakout at 6,850 is a concern for next week. We don't think it's going to be too deep, but another 100 points potentially to the downside. We have been seeing the volatility index increasing over the course of the past week, including during Friday's trading session where the VIX was up and the S&P 500 was also up. We've seen that divergence a number of times. We were discussing that in our live stream several days this past week as well, which by the way, you can check out for free. You can also get a sneak peek of what we're trading right now by checking out our community Discord absolutely free. Links in the description below. And let's actually take a closer look at the VIX. The VIX was up 3.13% on Friday, closing at 1744. You can see this series of higher lows and higher highs over the last three or four trading sessions coming up to this big gamma exposure at the 18 strike. Now, the VIX is obviously a negative gamma exposure territory, uh, but one thing we've been noticing is the volume at higher strikes has been picking up. This often signals that market participants are using volatility to hedge their overall portfolios. And when we see these volume spikes 
at higher strikes, we can know that market participants do have some concerns, especially with the volatility index ticking higher. And oftentimes this has ripple effects in the market in the near term. And so we could see a little bit further downside. Let's also take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin trading at 110,000 at the time of this recording, still in this consolidation range between 105 and 120. You can see the largest gamma exposure concentration is clearly at the 120 strike. We need to get back up to that level in order to see a potential for a breakout to higher strikes. We have been seeing gamma exposure building at some of these higher strikes, including the $130,000 strike. This is one of our favorite indicators to assess risk on sentiment. So we'd really like to see this back near all time highs up here around the 120 level to get a better gauge of where the market could potentially break out back up to new all-time highs on the S&P and the Qs. And so we're watching this very closely. So far this weekend, we haven't really seen much activity, just a little tick higher up to this $110,000 level. Next, let's take a look at a few names we're actively trading. We'll start off by looking at Tesla. Tesla had a really nice day on Friday, up 3.74%, closing at 456.56. Following Tesla's earnings report, we did see a dip down into the lower 400s, just above this 50-day EMA. We also also saw really strong support at that 400 strike, very little gamma exposure below the 400 strike, suggesting market participants believe that was a potential floor. And uh, in fact, price actually did bounce from the lower 400s, now trading into the mid 400s here around 450. Tesla continues to test these previous highs that we saw hit at the end of 2024 into the upper 400s. You can see the largest gamma exposure is at that 500 strike we actually have an iron butterfly on currently targeting the middle of this range between 450 and 500 and it's starting to look more and more like that 500 strike is a potential target for year end if we dive into our 3d surface model we can actually take a look and see where the gamma exposure is concentrated by expiration and you can clearly see the 500 strike in the November 21st expiration has grown substantially and is where most of the gamma exposure is concentrated. If we come out here, we can also see in the December 19th expiration, there is a lot of gamma exposure at that expiration as well. So the potential for a move up to 500 in the coming weeks is growing substantially and it looks like market participants are betting for price to trade around that 500 level through November and into December. And this is another great example of how gamma exposure can assist you in assessing probabilities. So we have an iron butterfly in the middle of this range, but we know that probabilities are rising now, at least according to the options market for a move towards 500 in that November 21st expiration. So if we do see a move higher into the 470 to 480 range in the next week, will likely take off that position knowing that our overall iron butterfly wings could get tested if price continues higher. And so our sweet spot is below 500. So we wouldn't want to wait for 500 to get hit in this particular instance. So we can actually close out our position, lock in profits and put on a new position targeting that 500 strike into year end. By the way, you can track our trades in real time as we manage our options portfolio by becoming a member at geeksoffinance.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Next, let's take a look at Palantir. Palantir has earnings tomorrow, so I thought it'd be good to take a quick look to see what the gamma exposure picture is showing us. Palantir was up 3.04% on Friday, closing right at that 200 level, 200.47. Gamma exposure has been concentrated at this 200 strike over the last couple of months. And so during this consolidation period, we saw the potential for a move up to that 200 strike was growing in probability. And now we're also seeing gamma exposure growing at the 210 strike as well. So market participants continue to be bullish on Palantir. One side note, we have seen negative gamma exposure growing at some of these lower strikes, you know, anywhere from the 160 to 180 level. And this is typical heading into a big earnings release like this. From our end, we typically like to avoid earnings related risk. And so we'll wait until the earnings release has come out before we look at the GEX picture, reassess, and then establish a position based on where market 
market participants are positioning. Ultimately, though, we're looking for price to stay between this 220 and 180 level. And so if price is anywhere in this range following earnings, we'll look at putting on potentially an iron condor or an iron butterfly targeting this 200 strike. And that does look to be a focus of market participants heading into year end. It's where all the volume in the options market has been focused over the last several trading sessions as well. And guys, for a limited time, you can get $300 off our yearly portfolio manager tier subscription. Use code FALL2025 at checkout. We do have a few spots left on this promotion, so take advantage of it while you can because it's going to be ending soon. Members get full access to our gamma exposure dashboard, our option flow analytics tools, as well as our algorithmic trading strategies. And you'll also get access to the premium channels in our community discord. You can track our trades in real time as we manage our options portfolio. I'll put links in the description below so you can check out all of that when you get a chance. Thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.